Hello everyone, today we present you the shoulderless components to create a crown or a bridge that can close on the neck of Prama implants. It's possible to use these components for luting technique on regular and long neck. The standard version of the interfaces without support base has a 6mm high cementation cone both in the engaging version for single crowns and in not engaging version for bridges and multiple structures. If necessary, it's possible to cut two of the notches present on the surface to obtain a 4mm cementation cone. It's also available a version with a 10mm cementation cone that can be reduced to 8mm. These components are sold without a screw. You can order the VM2-180 screw for rehabilitations with a straight screw hole or the TPDH18L66 screw for rehabilitation that require to angulate the screw channel. In this case, the appropriate screwdriver must also be purchased separately because it's not included in the surgical kits. Let's see an example of digital use of these components. I'm using Sweeter Martinez Archiplan software, but obviously the libraries are also available in Exocad, 3Shape, Dental Wings, Ipsocad, and Promo Designer. In Archiplan, for example, the software shows us the type of implant that we want to use. In this case, we are going to select a Prama with an LMDT post abutment of 4mm height for single crown. In the second column, we have the abutment code, which you can also find in the catalog. The height of the abutment is always 6mm, but as previously mentioned, you can cut two notches and obtain a 4mm height abutment. The third parameter allows us to select the crown closure on the neck of the implant. We can close the prosthesis at platform level or we can close on the neck of the implant for 0.5 mm, 1 mm and 1.5 mm. The fourth parameter is the one that allows us to select the type of scan body. We can choose between flag, flag along, the old intraoral and the laboratory one. In the last column it is possible to select the angle degree of the screw channel. By making the crown transparent we can see the minimum thickness that the software creates around the prosthetic component. The minimum rec recommended thickness depends on the material that you choose. For zirconium is 0.5 mm. You can also use your own customized parameters, taking care to always respect the recommended minimum thickness. On the other hand, it's not possible to modify the cement space between the T-base and the crown because it's imposed by the library. Once the modeling has been completed, it's possible to mill this structure in-house if you have a milling machine or to send the file to Sweden Martina Milling Center Eco through our portal. What we'll get in both cases will be this. As you can see, the interfaces without a support base, in this case with a 6mm cementation cone, has an index that allows you to find the correct position of the crown. If the index is not correctly positioned, the crown remains visibly raised. Just rotate it until the correct position is found. The not engaging version don't have the index to facilitate the positioning of the bridge, which however is unique. Also in this case, as for the direct closure for a reduced metal bridge, the closure on the neck must be limited according to the disparalism of the implants. With this type of solution, it is possible to close the neck at 0, 0 0.5, 1 mm or 1.5 mm. We will need to pay more attention to the minimum thickness and hardness of the materials that we choose to use, preferring those with values above 750 MPA. It is an excellent solution in the aesthetic zone or when you don't want to invade too much the mucus channel. For any doubt, the DWF assistance is always at your disposal at the contacts you see behind me. Do not hesitate to contact us.